Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV MTK Global, in the Matrim bubble. Delighted to be joined by Aaron Richards. How are you, mate? I'm great, thank you. Yourself? Very well. I have to say, do you know what's playing in my head? Do you know that interview you done with Coogan last week? There was like Lerone Laurent. Yeah, yeah. That's proper playing on my mind. Yeah. Like when I was sorting the camera up for focus, I was like, I call you Lerone Richards. So yeah, that's the, yeah, the right way. Lerone Richards, yeah. yeah. So I'm bang on, yeah. Someone in your position shouldn't get their na- shouldn't be getting their name said wrongly. But uh, Coogan's always said it from day one, so I let him run with it. <laughs> you shouldn't have. You should have called him out from early. Um, this is like a super middleweight orientated card. It's quite nice. You've got Zach Parker, who's looking to be Billy Joe's mandatory. Obviously, Billy Joe defending at w- WBO super middleweight world title. And uh, you've got yourself on there as well. Yeah, it's a coincidence, really. Um, but it's nice to be part of this card. It's a big card. And, you know, I can't wait to showcase my skills on it. Is it sort of the initial fun, I suppose, of signing with Matrim has gone? There's been posters with your name on Europe on some of the artwork around here. But now, even though it's not the biggest fight of your career, it's go time. It's time to show Eddie what you're about. Yeah, it's time to show, like, you know, everyone what I'm all about. You know, um, yeah, everyone knows I'm a skillful operator. Um, so that's what I'm going to go and show everyone on a Friday night. I spoke to Dave yesterday, and actually when I went to approach him to do his interview, he was looking up a little bit about Timo Lane, and the words he used was awkward German. Yeah, um, do you know, I haven't really looked, much, um, looked at him much, to be honest. Uh, I just got to go and do, do me, um, and um, doing me is enough. Because doing you has been enough so far, obviously. And yeah, so if you do you, do you even care how you look? I know it sounds stupid because even if you didn't look great, it's not going to affect the future career of Lorraine Richards. Um, well, of course I care how I look. You know, I want to put on a good performance. You know, I want to showcase my talent. I want everyone to look at me after this fight and think, wow, like I want him in this fight, I want him in that fight. I want people to be talking about me. Um, obviously, that's my initial plan. Um, but yeah, uh, I, mainly I just focus on myself. I stay in my own lane and I do me, and, and um, that's what's got me here so far. So you haven't vacated your British and Commonwealth just to do this eight-rounder. There is obviously plans in the works. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about those plans? Have you already got down to business about what, what could come after? Well, obviously, my main focus, like everyone would say, is on Friday night, on one Friday night. But obviously, our initial plan is to move down to the European route, um, EBU. I want that EBU title. I want to conquer Europe, and then I want to push on to the world level. Who's European champion? If you don't mind me, I can't rack my brains. I think the title's vacant at this moment in time. Do you feel like perhaps, I don't know, you'd be in a good position, I suppose, promotionally and with negotiations to pick yourself up a vacant belt. I know Eddie's got shows across Europe. You could get someone from Europe over here. Mm-hmm. And that's sort of your, your first stepping stone after this. Yeah, I'm highly ranked, you know. I'm ranked in the world. Um, ranked quite high in Europe as well. Um, having won the British and Commonwealth titles. So, um, yeah, sure, um, Eddie will be able to work his magic and then get me that shot. Your name's still being mentioned on the other side of the promotional pond. Um, There's Willie Hutchinson and there was, it was sort of who's Lerone going to fight and then Willie Hutchinson and Lennox Clark. I think Lennox ruled himself out and that looks like they're going to fight. It's, um, yeah, I suppose, is it all positive if he's still being mentioned, even if their fights now seem to be off the cards? You know, a wise man told me one time that if people are talking about you, you're doing something right. And I'm doing something right, and I'm going to continue to do it, and um, people will continue to talk my name. Good stuff. Um, let's talk about a fellow s man, Mr. Joe Joyce. He done all right, didn't he? All right, he done brilliant. I was telling everyone. I told everyone, I said, Joe Joyce is going to bring it. You don't achieve what Joe Joyce has achieved. And, um, you know, with ease, you know, you've got to be good. You've got to have some sort of thing about it. You've got to have some skills. And Joe Joyce has skills. And you know what? On, on Saturday night, he showcased his skills. He showed he can box. He showed he had good defence. I'm proud of Joe. I'm proud of you, Joe. I'm proud of you, my brother. Joe's obviously getting a lot of credit, but it seems to be there's a lot going Daniel's way as well. Originally, it was perhaps less credit to Joe and more uh, reasoning thrown Daniel's way. People yeah. sort of... I know he got a barrage of abuse as well from people in the sport, from people outside of the sport. Uh, have you got anything you'd like to say about Daniel? Because he's only 23 years old. Uh, he's getting some very harsh criticism as well. You know, I've known Daniel for, well, from when he was a young boy, and I've known his dad. His dad's a nice man. You know, and I've always wished Daniel Dubois all the best, and I still do. Daniel Dubois is a young boy. He'll come back from this, I'm um, for sure. Um, 
you know, I wish him all the best and I hope he, his eyes recover. And just for Joe, uh, Alexander Usyk, I mean, he could have gone from turning over professional to fighting one of the sports elite in the space of five years and being ranked in perhaps the top 10, top five of the heavyweight divisions. You say you've known Joe for a while. Did you always know and expect this was going to be something that Joe was going to achieve, I suppose? Absolutely. Like, like I said before, you don't get given these medals. You know, Joe Joyce, just because he's quite calm and relaxed like myself, people sort of overlook us, um, you know, but it doesn't mean that, you know, that we're not good. Um, he had the platform to showcase what he was all about and he'd done that. I'm proud of Joe Joyce and he just has to keep being himself, keep doing the juggernaut business and he will get what he, what he deserves in the sport of boxing. And do you fancy him against Usyk? I suppose he's got strengths that you might say are Usyk's weaknesses, but obviously you can't un overlook someone like Usyk as well. Yeah, I don't want to come across as biased. You know, we know Us Usyk's a very, very good boxer, um, undisputed cruiserweight champion. So, you know, he's a very, very established pro. But, you know, I put my money on Joe against anyone in the world at heavyweight. He's got different styles. No one's seen. He can box, he can fight. His work rate is immense. Um, so, yeah, I always will be, will be back in my boy, Joe Joyce. It's quite a big statement, but look, I said this to Dave yesterday as well. Sam Jones, to the annoyance of some people, seems to be getting every prediction right so far. And I know he's predicting big things for you. So, do you feel like you're part of a, a good little stable there? Yeah, um, S-Jam, you know, Sam Jones and his Adam Morelli as well. We're a great team. Um, you know, they care about their fighters. They're backing me all the way. They also know they're boxing. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to know that your team's backing you and they have the same visions as what you have. Um, so, yeah, the future's bright. The future is black and yellow. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.